bearings have arrived. Uh, if you recall, I made a video about a few months ago, a three-part series on how to service a square tapered bottom bracket. And if you had the, uh, the fortitude to stick through all three of those videos, you will note that I, in the last video, I talked about sealed bearings to replace the old sealed bearings. I measured the bearings in that video and I went online and I ordered some new bearings for that bottom bracket and I got these on Amazon. Um, these are a hybrid ceramic bearing and I'll tell you what that means. Uh, basically a hybrid ceramic bearing is a bearing that has ceramic balls but it has stainless steel races and a stainless steel outer shell. Um, the reason you, the reason I chose to go with those is because full ceramic bearings, the shell and the race is all ceramic, including the balls. Those are much more expensive. <clears throat> I was able to get these um, in the correct size on Amazon for $14 for the two. So that's enough to replace both bearings in the bottom bracket. I'm gonna switch these bearings out. Um, I've already created the video for how to replace, or how to service a bottom bracket, so I won't go through all the uh, details as I went through last time. Okay, so let's uh, unpack these bearings and just see what they look like. So the, again, these are, these are a hybrid ceramic bearing. You can see that it says Okay, here they are. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, quite, wow, pretty smooth. And the inner and outer shells are stainless steel. Stainless steel is um, not the highest quality for a bearing. Um, it's not as hard of steel as um, other types of steel. Stainless steel is good for corrosion resistance, but it's a softer alloy of steel. So for a bearing, it's not gonna hold up as long, um, but we're gonna give it a try. Uh, for this price, for $14, it seems like a much better buy for me than to replace the whole bottom bracket, which was for a high quality bottom bracket or an equal quality bottom bracket to what I have on there now is in the neighborhood of 100 plus dollars. Um, Here's the bike that we're gonna be taking the bottom bracket out of and replacing bottom bracket bearings with these new ceramic bearings. So, let's get to it. So we just got the uh, bottom bracket out here. As you can see, this has the uh, sealed, sealed bearings in it. Here are the bearings now removed from the spindle. Those are the these are the old ones. Here are the new ones that um, we'll be replacing with. Uh, same width, same diameter. These came from actually I said Amazon earlier, but actually I realized I got these off eBay. All right, so we got it all back together, and as you can see, uh, these ceramic bearings spin really nice look at that there's no play at all in the in the in the bottom bracket and this thing spins out incredibly smooth just check out that I don't think I've ever actually had a bottom bracket um, spin that freely before. That is going to be really interesting. Um, if you've had, uh, if you've done a similar bottom bracket upgrade to an older square taper bottom bracket with ceramic bearings, um, let me know in the comments section uh, if you have had a similar experience. 
I I've never seen a bottom bracket which with no mile with zero miles on the bearings spin that freely before. Even when I get a Shimano, um, even when I get a Shimano uh, bottom bracket or uh, like the newer style uh, bottom brackets, I'm forgetting what they're called, but basically they're the uh, the um, the threaded cup style bottom brackets. I never, it never comes out with that kind of free. I mean that that's am amazing to me. Well, anyway, I'm looking forward to taking it out for a ride and seeing how how it feels. All right, well, that's it. Bottom bracket upgrade is complete. Yeah.